What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we're going to be talking about and implementing monochromatic color schemes. So essentially what that is, is you're dealing with one color. And typically people think white and black, but no, it actually can be a color and it can also be different shades of that same color. So we're gonna be working within Figma. I'm gonna show you exactly how to integrate this and we're gonna get ready to rock. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably wanna be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, so we're just real quickly going to create a, a layout. Um, I'm just gonna actually paste in most of the elements because this isn't about create creating layouts. Um, this is more about, obviously, the topic of the video, which is creating chromatic color schemes. So um, the first thing I'll do is just paste in, oh, not that, uh, a quick nav bar section. So um, here it is, I, I'm making some fake company called Sincerest. I'm sure one exists already. Uh, and then we have our navigation up top. Um, we're also gonna get in some type here. So there we go. We're gonna make this a long sort of, kind of like a, it's not even a home page. It's just kind of like a, a blog page for displaying some blogs. So here's some uh, type, the Playfair display, love that font. Um, kind of like a subheading right here. And then some type here. Um, in a second, we'll go ahead manually and get in a uh, photograph, but for now, I'll just have like a, a placeholder uh, image right there. All right, that's good. Um, so right now, it's kind of like a skeleton. Well, not really a skeleton UI, but it's not quite polished. Uh, we're gonna get that photograph in there. Um, we'll also have another section where it kind of shows a quote in the middle. All right, and then finally, we'll have another section of type right there, and this will align with this column. All right, and then um, let's see here. Uh, let me push that down. Then we'll have another photograph right here. Okay, so this is the actual UI. You can see it's a very quick and easy um, what I've done, and one thing to pay attention to right now um, when we're talking about color scheme is this is 100% monochromatic. Uh, we have a white background and we have a black uh, type here. And we can see not everything is black and white absolute, like 100% black, 100% white. Um, this right here, this, this placeholder image thing, which we're gonna fill in in a second, of course, is not 100% black, it's just gray. So if we look at, uh, the color picker over here, you can see it's not 100% black or 100% white. It's just it's just a little bit, uh, you know, it has a darkness added to it. So um, this is still monochromatic. That's the important thing to understand. You can work within shades of light and dark based on the same color. All right, so um, what we're gonna do is add in uh, an image here, something that would be relevant based on, you know, a broken clock or something. So if I type in clock, I, we could get this image here. And uh, typically, uh, when you have a UI design and you have something like a blog where you have blog content such as photographs, you kind of omit the requirement of the photographs to also be uh, you know, in this monochromatic approach. So you could leave you know, photographs that have color, you know, that's fine. Um, but if you truly want it to be 100% everything that you see here, monochromatic, all you have to do is take the image um, here in Figma, we click on this little teardrop in the blend modes, and we could just change it to luminosity. All right, so now it's 100% black and white. We'll do the same thing real quick down here. If we go to Unsplash, I'll type in clock, and we'll just gonna find a clock graphic. Maybe we'll choose that one. 
and there you go. So right off the bat, if we're just taking a look uh, at the color scheme, 100% um, black and white typically gives, uh, evokes an emotion of sophistication, uh, luxur luxurious, uh, uh, simple, etc. So if you're going for that type of aesthetic, black and white works perfectly. Now what if we took this and we replicated it and we added in uh, uh, a color, all right? So even we'll change the background color. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll come out here probably like in the orangish area and we'll make the background very subtly kind of like a, a beige color. Now this is gonna throw off this gray color that looks terrible. So what we wanna do is take uh, that color, we'll hit I, we get the same color, and then we just add darkness to it. Now you can add darkness uh, a couple ways. So you could do it right here just by dragging this down, um, or we could change to a, a different color mode, um, like HSB, so brightness would be the last one. You could do HSL as, as well. So we could just take this with our keyboard down arrow key and just make it a little bit darker. And then this would be yet another variation of a monochromatic color scheme. Uh, we could also take this, by the way, and change that as well to luminosity. All right, so what are the difference? What's the difference outside of the color that we've changed between these two layout? Well, nothing except uh, if you look at this one, it kind of gives you just a, a, a different emotional response potentially uh, based on what's happening here. For me, this this kind of this kind of looks like an old broken, or not a broken, but an aged newspaper or something like that. So if you're going for that type of vintage look, then you can use that kind of beige color scheme. So of course you can do this uh, with many other colors, all right? So it all depends on what you're trying to do. We'll do uh, a couple more. So for instance, we could we could even play around with this even more. Um, it's always fun to play around with, uh, with colors and, and layout. So let's say for instance, we wanted to do something like this. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure this is inside of our frame here, desktop three, right there, okay. Now we're going to put this in the back. All right, and we may have to adjust a couple things here. There we go. What if we wanted to make this more of a playful layout? Because right now it's really, you know, it's serious. You know, it's like, it's like a newspaper or something. So. Um, let's let's try to integrate some color. Maybe it's this is like a, a a girly blog of some sort. <laughs> so maybe we could take and I uh, yeah I kind of like that color right there. And let's shorten up this text just a bit so it fits in here nicely. All right. And what about the background? All right. So let's I uh, we could just leave it this background color if we wanted to. Um, we could also, let's say, we can make this white again. Maybe we'll make this, uh, make that gray just for now. Maybe we'll take this little quote. All right, but we'll give it a little bit more saturation. And then a one thing that also can really influence a couple things that can really influence the, the feel and the mood of a design. Uh, first is the content itself. So let's have a girl's night out. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to break into two different lines. Twice a day, <laughs> so stupid. All right, um, and then we could take this image right here and if we go to Unsplash, we'll just type in something like party all right, I uh, maybe we'll do that, and then we'll go be, go ahead and reset that to normal, and we'll do this one more time. Go to normal, and we'll go back to unsplash. Girls partying. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so now we've really changed the just the tone, the mood of this design by uh, changing the colors.
And finally, you might be wondering how can we turn this into a dark mode? Very, very, very simple, of course. We could take this version, for instance. I will take the background. Well, before we do that, yeah, let's just take everything. Anything that's black will make white. There we go. And this wasn't quite black. This was, these two elements were uh, almost black. So these can be um, almost white as well. We'll take the background. Now this is where it's gonna all come together. You know, we can go absolute black. I wouldn't. I would suggest not going absolute back. Maybe somewhere right around here. And then of this, of course, we grab the background and drag it up. All right. So there we have it. Uh, so essentially, monochromatic color schemes. Very simple. Um, now you know how to apply them. The, just the the couple rules is is the fact that it's just based on one color but you can have a lot of different varying shades between those colors, uh, like just like in this photograph. And that would be considered a monochromatic color scheme. All right, everybody, if you enjoyed that, definitely check out designcourse.com where you are going to be able to learn UI, UX in an interactive setting. Now, also make sure to subscribe here on YouTube as I'm just busting out content left and right. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye.